everyone and welcome to another edition of Psycho Sim Reviews. Today the album we're reviewing is this one, which if you can't work out what the spiky logo says, is Borknagar with their new album True North. Um, well, I'm sorry if you can't work it out, the clue as to whether what album I'm uh, reviewing is kind of up there, but anyway, um, uh, this is my first time listening to the band, hopefully this is going to be a good album. Um, I know it features um, ICS Vortex, formerly of Doomable Gear, the clean vocals, so um, this could be interesting. Although, hopefully it doesn't sound like Doomable Gear because I'm not much of a Doomable Gear fan. So without any further ado, let's give this a listen. True North is the brand new album by Borknagar and uh, I knew nothing about this band, to be honest with you, when I went into this or picked the album up. I mean, look, it saw the uh, kind of picture of the mountain on the front along with the... Uh, a spiky logo which is always reminiscent of a black metal band and thought you know I'll give it a go it might be one of the better black metal bands out there and everything what I was not expecting was one of the best progressive epic black metal albums I've heard in a long time um, and this is something of a bit of a revelation really for me um, like I said I knew nothing about the band beforehand um, and when I found out that the uh, lead vocalist was ICS Vortex formerly of Doomable Gear it kind of made me a little bit concerned because even though I liked Vortex's uh, singing voice um, I'm not the biggest fan of Doomable Gear and I was concerned that this might end up being sort of a version of Doomable Gear again and that wasn't really what I was looking for so I'll start the disc in and um, yeah this is um, this is absolutely awesome this album to be perfectly honest with you um, it kicks out kicks off with the absolutely titled Thunderous which is an avalanche of riffs drumming um, ICS Vortex is an amazing singing voice um, with some black metal screaming in there as well that's something I want to sort of approach on this with this review as well um, if you come into this album don't expect a typical black metal record because uh, most of it is clean vocals it has to be said most of it is ICS's Vortex's incredible singing voice um, but there is some black metal screaming in there as well um, and yeah Fundra sets the album up absolutely awesomely uh, letting you know that this is epic this is progressive and this is indeed going to be heavier than a bag of hammers um, so yeah that sets the mood really well um, and yeah then we go into Up North another brilliant song in fact there's no bad songs on here I have to say um, another highlight for me was Lights Lights were really awesome song Wildfather's Heart is a slightly uh, uh, what's the word? Uh, more relaxed song. Um, yeah, the song sort of, this album goes through peaks and troughs throughout. Well, generally throughout every song, really, um, along with um, throughout the album. Now, there's not any real short songs on here. I think like the shortest song is about five, six minutes long. So if you've not got a taste for the longer stuff, this may be an album for you to avoid. However. If you like your more progressive stuff, oh, this is the album for you, trust me. Especially if you like progressive extreme metal. So, so especially if you're a fan of Opeth, I would say. There's a couple of hints of Opeth on this album, I have to say. Whether that's intentional or not, I do not know. Um, the album ends with the beautiful, beautiful song Voices, which is like a kind of, uh, in a way, a Viking chant, I suppose one way I can put it. Um... I don't know if I've said that, it's probably the wrong description, but the, the proper words are not coming to my mind right now. It's always helpful when you're doing a review. Anyway, yeah, this is this is incredible. This is exactly the kind of thing I was hoping to find this year. Um, so much so that I can see this being one of my albums of the year when you come to the end of the year. Honestly, if you've not checked out Borknagar yet, get this album because you may be blown away like I have. Obviously, I can't compare it to previous Borknagar albums because... I've never heard them before. Um, I've heard the name, but I've never got around to listening to them before. Um, but yeah, all in all, when it comes to this album, if you like your progressive stuff, if you like your epic sounding black metal, or just epic sounding music in general, yeah, True North by Borknagar. Go pick it up. It gets four and a half out of five. So there you have it. That is what I thought of the new album by Borknagar um, called True North. Sorry, I had to remember mind myself what it was then. Um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. Feel free to like, share, subscribe, hit the bell, blah, 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 is everything that YouTube wants you to do for the channel. Um, if you want to become a Patreon, feel free to. The uh, address is just there. And 
I want to give a big shout out to my current patron. I've only got one, sadly, um, at the moment. The one only Attic Ghost. Go check out his channel. He's in the links on the channel, uh, the main front page. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I've got plenty more reviews coming, um, especially with two big releases uh, coming out tomorrow. Um, if you're wondering, I'm recording this on the 24th. Um, so, yes, that'll be interesting. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.